Have you ever reflected on the mental overload that sometimes we face in the morning when we wake up? I've had it many times and from my own experience, I can tell you that it's horrible. The mind is already racing, thinking about what we're going to do, the problems to be solved and yesterday's reviews. It's a very exhausting cycle. A cycle that many times also involves memories of the past and judgments about ourselves. A real mental storm. But what if there was a way out of this cycle? What if we found a way to calm this storm, to find a place of tranquility? I see a lot of comments from you talking about this mental torment, about the excessive cycle of thoughts. So today, we will explore the intriguing concept of becoming empty, a journey that can enlighten our understanding and transform the way we face each day. By the end, I hope that you will not only understand the concept, but that you will be better prepared to integrate this practice into your life. Now that we've shared the morning restlessness that many of us face, let's delve into the true essence of becoming empty. Imagine for a moment emptying your mind of all worries, judgments, and incessant thoughts. This state of emptiness is not just a breath, but a gateway to true magic, as it is a state of complete tranquility. So, in this video, I'd like to take you on an inner journey, where as we become empty, we'll see how identity disappears, memories dissipate, and the very notion of thinking about life simply fades away. It's an experience of existing in nothingness, and surprisingly, it's in that emptiness that we find everything. So, think of this emptiness not as a cold abyss, but as an ocean of serenity, where peace is not just felt, but experienced. Because in becoming empty, we experience the freedom to leave behind the masks we wear on a daily basis. For me, this happened when I realized that the constant worries about what others think of me were dissipating my true authenticity. When I embraced emptiness, I discovered that the real magic was in being completely myself without layers of pretension. Emptiness is not a void of meaning. It is a space of unlimited potential. An experience of mind that I highlight is when, in a moment of deep meditation, all worries about the past and the future simply disappeared. In this emptiness, I found a clarity that I couldn't achieve when my mind was filled with tumultuous thoughts. It's as if the silence of emptiness created a space where true wisdom could manifest in me. The emotional and mental benefits of this practice are truly remarkable. For it's the moment when we leave behind the burden of expectations, of incessant self-criticism, and simply be. It's like taking a weight off your shoulders, allowing the lightness of existence to flow. So, remember, encountering emptiness isn't just a momentary pause. It's a silent revolution in the way we live and experience each moment. It's not a state of absence. It's a state of intensified presence. It's a state where we find the fullness that has always been there, hidden beneath the incessant cycle of thoughts. And it's in this process that we begin to challenge some deep-rooted beliefs. The idea that we can only achieve something through constant effort is a common narrative, right? This narrative, although common, imposes on us a mindset of constant struggle as if everything were a goal to be achieved with sweat and tears. But the practice of becoming empty proposes a completely different approach. The practice of becoming empty doesn't require a constant battle, but rather a serene surrender. It is the acceptance that our true nature is already full. By understanding this, we dispel the illusion of the conditioned self, because becoming empty is not an action, but a revelation, a stripping away of the layers that obscure our vision of the truth. Many times we are taught to believe that we only value what we achieve through hard work. However, when we talk about spirituality, the path is surprisingly simple. It's not about constant effort, but serene acceptance. Of course, this is my perspective, my point of view. Some may disagree, but all the practices, states of mind that we share here on the channel, if you stop to notice, 
you'll see that a large part of them involve acceptance. Consider, for example, floating in a river. When we try to swim against the current, we feel resistance and tiredness. But when we allow ourselves to float, trusting the current, we are carried along smoothly and effectively. In the same way, when we embrace emptiness, we are not swimming against the currents of life. We are flowing in it. The need to constantly do something often prevents us from simply being. The practice of becoming empty is more about letting go than grasping, more about accepting than conquering. It's an invitation to enjoy the natural flow of existence without the need to resist or control every aspect of it. By freeing ourselves from this mindset of constant striving, we discover that true magic occurs when we make space for what is already intrinsically ours. For it is a state in which we allow life to simply unfold as it is, in a harmonious way. It's a journey of acceptance, of letting go, and of discovering that often, the answer is in doing nothing, but simply being. But the big question is, how can we incorporate this state of emptiness into our daily lives? Does it really transform our lives? The first practical instruction I can give you is to simply let go. It's like carrying a heavy backpack full of worries, responsibilities, and expectations. So I invite you to let go of that backpack and allow it to slip gently off your shoulders. Because sometimes the most powerful transformation occurs when we stop carrying the weight of the world on us. Personally, I once found myself overwhelmed by unrealistic expectations that I had created for myself. When I decided to let go, it wasn't an abdication of responsibility, but a release from self-imposed bonds. And I can tell you from my heart, it was a great liberation, something that today I feel much lighter. So, if you're carrying a heavy emotional burden, perhaps a constant worry or an unmet expectation, try visualizing it now. Let go of that mental burden. And tell me, how does it feel to make room for something new and lighter? Another effective practice is observation. Instead of getting lost in the labyrinths of the mind, become an aware observer of your own thoughts. When we become empty, we are not eliminating thoughts, but rather observing them from a detached perspective. Because, as an observer, you can consciously choose to let go of thoughts that don't serve your well-being. The practice of observation can be more profound than you might think. During meditation, for example, I observe my thoughts as clouds floating in the sky of my mind. And when I attach myself to negative thoughts, it's like holding a dark cloud, and I feel that darkness. But I realized that I didn't need to eliminate these thoughts, just observe them without getting attached. Because like clouds, our thoughts come and go. So to become empty, try observing your own thoughts with this detached perspective. Meditation helps me a lot with this, so try to set aside some time to dedicate to this practice as it is truly transformative. Also, allow yourself to experience the beauty of conscious breathing. Conscious breathing is a wonderful practice for anchoring ourselves in the present. As you breathe in, imagine yourself filling up with renewed energy. And as you breathe out, visualize yourself releasing any tension or worry. Breathing is a bridge to the present, and by embracing emptiness, we become more aware of the present moment where the real magic happens. In moments of anxiety, for example, you can also experience the magic of this practice. In those moments, stop and just focus on your breathing. Breathing in deeply, you can feel your mind clear and anxiety dissipate as you breathe out. Each practice I've mentioned is like a doorway to a deeper, calmer state of being, which we can also call becoming empty. They are practices that help us let go of the need for constant control and allow life to unfold naturally. So allow yourself to explore these practices, adjust as necessary, and discover what resonates best for each of you. It would be great if you could share your experiences with these practices in the comments. 
What was it like to let go of something that was burdening you? How has observing your thoughts influenced the quality of your mind? Or perhaps you've had a transformative experience with conscious breathing. I look forward to reading your stories and reflections. After we've explored the practices of becoming empty, I invite you to reflect more deeply on the meaning of this journey. In many spiritual traditions, there is the idea that true understanding comes not from accumulation, but from liberation. It's like emptying a glass so that it can be filled with something purer and more meaningful. Think of your life as a vast ocean of potential. Often, anxiety and agitation are like choppy waves that disturb the surface of that ocean. The practice of becoming empty is like allowing those waves to calm down, revealing the quiet, unexplored depth of who we really are, our true essence. And in that calm, in that state of becoming empty, we feel as if we are connected not just to ourselves, but to something greater, something cosmic, divine. Because when we truly empty our minds, we realize that we are part of a vast, interconnected whole. It's a sense of belonging and harmony that couldn't be achieved by accumulating knowledge or external achievements. I say this because I have experienced this feeling, and I still feel it today. So, I invite you to reflect on what you are willing to let go of in order to access this deeper level of being. For becoming empty is the release of old identities, unfulfilled expectations, and the serene acceptance that, by letting go, we make space for something new and more authentic to emerge. Just think and reflect. What would life be like if you allowed this burden to dissolve? After addressing the practices of becoming empty and reflecting on their significance, a question arises. How can we integrate this state of being into the complexity of everyday life? From my perspective, I believe that it's not just about moments of meditation, but about a constant transformation that permeates our daily existence. After all, this is not a state to be experienced only at specific moments, but constantly permeating your entire life. Something that helped me a lot in this process and illustrates this integration was when I realized that short breaks throughout the day had a profound impact on me. What do I mean by this? Instead of becoming just moments of waiting or boredom, these breaks became opportunities to become empty, to let go of accumulated tensions and restore my mental clarity. Bringing mindfulness to routine activities also helps a lot in this process. Instead of performing tasks on autopilot, I invite you to bring mindfulness to the present moment. For example, when you're washing the dishes, feel the water, feel the aromas or the temperature. Guys, don't underestimate the power of mindfulness because it really is transformative. Try to see every routine activity as a moment of opportunity to become empty while being fully present. As we integrate emptiness into everyday life, we realize that it is not an escape from reality, but a deeper way of experiencing it. It's as if every moment becomes an expression of our true nature, devoid of the layers of thoughts and expectations. Each step we take on this path of becoming empty is a journey home to the true essence that resides beyond the superficial layers of the mind. By letting go of what no longer serves, we create space for something authentic and pure to emerge. And the true magic of existence unfolds when we allow emptiness to be an integral part of our being. Every moment becomes an opportunity to be fully present, to be enveloped by the harmonious flow of existence. So, as we come to the end of this video, I invite each of you to bring this magic into your lives. If it makes sense to you, try the practices we've explored here. Feel the subtle transformation that occurs when you allow emptiness to permeate every breath, every thought. Remember, this is not an invitation to escape reality, but to embrace it in a deeper way. So, experience becoming empty in your daily lives. And if you feel comfortable, 
Let us know in the comments how this transformative practice manifests for you, for it is also a way of inspiring each other to explore the depths of being. May your lives be filled with the magic of serene emptiness. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.